everybody's Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday now. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Anyways, I didn't really have nothing to say, but I did want to come on here and talk about something real fast. Just talk about how we need to, um, how we really need to check on our friends and our families. How we definitely need to check on our friends and our families. Especially because you never know what somebody else is going through. You know, a lot of times we think people are okay. And not knowing that they either have depression or they've been having depression for a long time and you didn't you didn't thought that they didn't got over it, but they really still have not ever got over it. You know what I mean? So we definitely need to check on people. And I say that because about I have a friend I have a friend and about hmm, I think it was like in 2000 and I'll say 2009 or 2008 anyways um Her, uh, my my ex coworker and slash friend, because she was a friend. Um, and actually, we used to call each other roomies because we actually shared office. Um, anyways, back around that time, sometime her brother committed suicide. Her and her brother was very close. I mean, they was they was really close. I can't really say how close they was. I just know from what she told me that they was extremely close. And I know once he committed suicide, she was never the same. She always blamed herself for not being there. Um... All kind of stuff like she blamed herself it got to the point to where she wanted to commit suicide a lot of times she would come into work she would be depressed or she would be mad or upset sad I mean she would have spells where she would just start crying I mean it, it really affected her and even though I didn't know her when her her brother was alive, just from you know sharing office with her and her telling me you know like what happened and and the different stories, you know, I knew it was tragic. All right, so like I was saying. Um, I knew it was tragic for her. And I know every once in a while she would get depressed, like I was saying, and sad. And, you know, I would always try to, like, boost her up and, you know, and tell her how she's so much better than that. And, you know, and, um,. You know, I would just tell her that everybody goes through different things and a lot of us love really hard. I mean, sometimes it's unbearable how, how hard we love each other or how hard we miss somebody who has gone on, you know. 
and so I, I would just try to always reassure her that it was going to be okay you know he's in a better place I mean I don't know what he, his feelings was and I don't know what he was going through to to commit suicide or whatever but I know her she I don't know it was just like she was even though a lot of times she would like to try to make it sound like she was happy you can always tell that she was never happy or if she was happy it was only for a moment before it was over anyways I just say you know that happened in like 2009 something like that when her brother did that and it goes to show you that some people never gets over the fact that whatever happened you know that they're gonna be okay so Yesterday, I found out that my friend committed suicide herself. And I knew she was going through depression, but I didn't know that she was still going through depression. But also, I think I'm kind of wrong for not like checking on her more often than, than, than what I did or than what I could have. You know, even if it's just to make sure that she's okay. And I know I seen her a couple of months ago and she had lost like a lot of weight. She had got really, really skinny. I mean, she was already a nice size to me. She wasn't, um, she was a nice size. I mean, beautiful girl. Hair went all the way down to her ankles at one point. And I remember when she cut it, she cut it all the way to her, um, to her lower back she had cut it and I don't know it's just it's just crazy how all the emotions that people go through and the different stuff people go go through and, and hold on to you know what I mean like we try to hold on to people who was already gone that's like the hardest thing and, and don't get me wrong I mean I know all about it I know about death and you know we all gotta go one day I think it's just hard when when you take your own life because that's something that happens instantly it's not something that is gradually happening so I think it hits people harder than than when you're actually sick or um, even if you was in a car accident or something I think you taking your own life I don't know I don't even want to call it selfish because I don't know if it's selfish or or what to call it but I just know that it's sad Especially because now her parents have two kids that have did this. Not one, but two kids. And it was only three of them. She was the only girl. She had two brothers. It was only three of them. And all they have is one son left. I don't know, people. I just say check on your friends and families and never think somebody is doing good you know mentally because depression depression is something else I mean mental health is is something that you don't even want to play with mental health is so serious it is so serious.
it is definitely something you do not want to play with. I mean, like I always say, if you kiss and hug on your kids, kiss them and, and love them on, on them a little bit harder than what you did. Especially because you never know what could happen. You never know. And you never know what somebody else is thinking. You never know how somebody else is feeling. And a lot of times we say things to people to try to break people down and you don't even know where they're at, where their mind frame is in life. Well, people always, I don't know, just just check on your friends and check on your family and make sure that they're okay mentally and physically. You know what I mean? Make sure that they're okay. Because this is, this is a crazy world that we live in. It is definitely a crazy world that we live in. And I know a lot of times I don't check on my friends and stuff because, you know, I always feel like they got it together and, you know, they're okay. Or I might go on all these different social media outlets and I might see a few of them on there, you know, posting little stuff. But a lot of times, even when they're posting stuff, we don't know if they're okay. We don't know if they're okay mentally. We don't even know if they're okay physically. We don't know. We don't know unless we ask. We don't know. So just ask them if they're okay. Ask them and make sure that they're all right. You know, so I don't know. I'll be right back. So anyways, like I was saying, make sure you wrap your arms around your family members and your friends and just tell them how much you love them. And let them know that they are worthy to be here. You know, and tell them that they are loved. Even though a lot of times they feel like they're not loved and they feel like nobody cares. Sometimes we have to just reassure some people more than what we do others. anybody out there is feeling like doing anything to yourself or anything there is help out there and speak to somebody you can speak to anybody a lot of times the person who you think it will least you expect to that will listen to you is the person that will listen to you the most and never assume that somebody is doing good at let me also say that never assume that somebody is doing good and that people are okay because you never know a lot of people put on a facade like they're doing just great and they're doing excellent and deep down inside they got a lot of demons fighting them they have a whole lot of demons fighting them inside so don't take this thing called life. Don't take advantage of it. Especially because it's not promised to none of us. Tomorrow is not promised to none of us. I don't know. I just think that this whole thing is crazy. It, it really is crazy. Anyways, I just want to say, make sure you guys like subscribe my channel rest in peace Kristen you will be missed and like I always say you guys